we're lucky enough to still have the dress that Louise Duchess wore at the Duchess of Devonshire's Ball. If you wanted to be part of the in crowd, you had to be invited to this ball. Everybody who was invited took dressing up incredibly seriously. They didn't just go to a, a rental shop and buy a moustache. The world's greatest collectors are not only defined by great wealth. Sotheby's takes you inside Chatsworth House, the ancestral home of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Discover the passion that has driven 16 generations of the Cavendish family to create one of the world's most extraordinary art collections. Louise Duchess married the 8th Duke quite late in life. The thing that she's perhaps best remembered for is the Duchess of Devonshire's Ball. There were lots of balls that season, but Louise was quite an influential hostess. She did throw quite good parties, and because royalty were going to be there, it was the party you wanted to be at. There was a photograph album made of all the guests in their finery. And the album was given as a present to Louise as the hostess. Everybody had these amazing costumes made by the great couturiers of the time. There are rumours that Louise was very naughty and she sent out the invitations quite late. If you didn't get in with the couturiers fast enough, you weren't going to get your costume. So you'd spend the money and then you may not be invited. It was incredibly competitive at that time. They were going to the best people to make these garments, even though these garments were being worn for one night. They needed to be special, they needed to stand out. It's about statement. Some of them were bonkers. I mean, they had eagles sitting on their shoulders. And you can imagine trying to dance in a dress which is corseted and boned with an eagle on your shoulder. Mad, but they stood out, they were special. The dress that Louise Duchess wore, she went as a person called Queen Zenobia. She obviously decided to kind of throw everything at it. It's the kind of dress you would want to be wearing for such a sensational event. It's extraordinary colour, covered in embroidery, real silver sequins. It has a gold tissue underskirt, which if you imagine her being by candlelight, the foil work would have shimmered, all the gold springs and silver sequins would have shimmered. She would have been like a brightly coloured jewel. The thing that strikes me as extraordinary about it is that someone has carefully looked after it for all those years. It's a very exciting thing to have in the collection. We're lucky we've had some duchesses who've been very keen on fashion and had a very clear personal style. The most influential was Georgina, no doubt about that. I think she was a fashion icon. For really a long time, people regarded her as somebody who they wanted to emulate. In more recent generations, the Duke's mother, Deborah Mitford, she loved Givenchy and Dior and the great French designers of the day, but she also loved everyday clothes. Fashion is important about marking generations and periods. The collection here in textiles, they're massively important because we're losing the trade, we're losing the skills. My parents-in-law and I should have a fashion exhibition of five centuries of fashion. Everybody brings what they're interested in, and I like clothes. <laughs>